Here's an example of a wave interference effect where two point sources vibrating side by side create constructive and destructive interference in the region between them. If we imagine two point sources, S1 and S2, that are oscillating, they will each create traveling circular waves heading out from them. The red dots indicate anti-nodes, and notice that sometimes the red dots from one or the anti-nodes from one wave coincide with the, the anti-nodes from the other wa wave. When the anti-nodes overlap with one another, I get constructive interference. And you see that, in fact, those regions of constructive interference fall along lines. These are sometimes called antinodal lines. Sometimes, however, nodes of one wavefront coincide with the antinodes of another wavefront. And these also occur along lines. In this case, that's when destructive interference will occur. It's also interesting to notice that the zones of destructive interference occur along lines, and they occur partway in between the lines of constructive interference, or the antinodal lines. The lines where there are destructive interference are called nodal lines. These two lines or, or zones are, are numbered, and the one that's right along the upper axis here, the straight up and down, is usually numbered m equals 0, and to either side is m equals 1 or plus, plus or minus 1, and then further out is plus or minus 2, and so on. The nodal lines are numbered with half integers, partway in between the antinodal lines. Let's just check that we understand what's going on here. Imagine there are two water bugs jumping up and down the water, creating circular outgoing waves, as shown. And imagine that the heavy lines indicate antinodes, whereas the light lines or, or the heavy lines integrate uh, crests, while the light lines integrate troughs. You'll see an interference pattern as a result in the water all throughout the region around the two jumping up and down water bugs. So again, thick lines represent crests, the thin lines represent troughs. Several of the positions in the water are labeled with a letter. And let's categorize each of these uh, regions, these lettered uh, regions, whether that's a point of constructive interference or destructive interference, or whether that's a node or an anti-node of that interference pattern. A is going to be constructive because if you notice, the two lines that are meeting here at A are heavy, so that means there are two crests that are overlapping. B is also going to be a, a position of constructive interference because it's two heavy lines or crests that are overlapping. But all the others are going to be zones of destructive interference because that's where a crest is meeting a trough. In other words, in, for example, location E, it's a crest coming from Johnny's uh, wavefront meeting a trough meeting from coming from Jiminy's wavefront. 